when I lived in Texas, I was a heathen. I didn't, didn't, I've never been to the Lord at all. I got hit by a Jeep on my bicycle and was, and was pronounced dead on the street. I found myself falling backwards and going to the pit of hell. And I realized that, in fact, that I was going to hell. And for some reason or another, I said, Lord, forgive me. I'm sorry. I'm, I've said bad things about Jesus. And it was out of nowhere, this fantastic bright light to my, to my left. I couldn't actually look at the bright light because it was so bright. And I was basically suspended and I wasn't falling anymore, but it was terrifying of the darkness. And this voice said, do you mean what you say? And I said, yes, Lord, I do. Now that's not the type of language that I would normally be speaking in, but I was saved, God sent me back. I met a wonderful priest through my doctor. I became uh, uh, baptized, 45 years old, become baptized for the first time in my life. And uh, they had a healing ministry there with the Order of St. Luke. And one night we were at the rail and I was on the outside of the rail and laying on of hands, you know, pray, pray, pray. And then Father John says, do you mind, wanna, do, would you pray for me? Oh, <laughs> same thing. So, I, so everybody put their hands on Father John, and I couldn't reach him. And he said, "Come on, Bobby, put your hand, put your hands. Come around over here." Oh no! I went to the God side of the rail, you know. With, with, so I put my hands on Father John, and this is the first time I've ever actually prayed for for for, for him. And uh, and uh, it was. Words came out of my mouth that, that I had never heard before. And Father John was saying that, you know, Father, please, Bobby, your, your hands are burning, burning me. And uh, I found at that time that I was a conduit for, for Jesus' love and healing. That's how I came to this Order of St. Luke.